Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So y'all, I have a awesome, amazing, fantastic, stupendous yard sale haul for y'all today. So this was a major yard sale benefiting a school, a private school in our area. And I, there, it was not advertised anywhere. I was literally, I found it on Facebook by chance um, a couple weeks ago or a week ago maybe that they were doing it. I took a screenshot, saved it, and even though they did have signs up, it's not my side of town, so I would have never driven by it, but I went, and it was so good. I called my mom, and she drove an hour and a half to get here to come help me with this sale because it was so awesome. So it was, um, the prices were fill a bag of clothing for five dollars, and we spent between the two of us about a dollar twelve or a dollar twenty, I believe, per item. I did not get any homewares or anything like that because I think all of that got picked over pretty quickly. Whereas I started in clothing, um, and I, we agreed that next year she'll have to come over first thing to come to the sale because it was awesome. As soon as I got to the sale, I was like, "You got to come over here. This stuff is just too incredible, too amazing." And yeah, so it was. I mean, just awesome. I cannot believe all the clothing that I found. I said it felt like the good old days of yard sailing where sometimes you'd hit up a sale where somebody was like your same style and size. And they also were selling their clothes for like inexpensive, like a fill a bag or a dollar an item or less. So I am so excited. I don't even know where all these clothes are going to go. I'm going to have to do some decluttering of my closets, but that's okay. It's always fun to find super awesome new items. So let's get started. First off are two pairs of tights, which I have not tried on yet, but they are microfiber opaque footed tights in a small medium. So there's one gray and one black pair. I love finding new tights because, well, they're very they just all get worn out, you know, like doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter what brand they are. They always eventually get pilled and like, or get a hole or something like that. So super excited about that. Um, and the other socks slash hosiery category, I got some darn tough socks, which if you know these socks, they're very expensive and, um, they're, they're just super expensive. And these look like brand new, which you can tell because you know, this white, would have gotten stained um, otherwise. And they're taller than most people probably wear socks. But I'm so thrilled for these for the winter under some tall boots. I know tall boots haven't been in style, but look, y'all, I've still been wearing tall boots. So this was, of course, super easy to just like shove in a little plastic bag for the fill a bag. Now on to some sweaters. So these are not really fancy brands or anything. This is Isela Isela. I think a lot of these clothes either came from when she, this particular woman probably went to the outlets or went to like Marshall's or Ross, something like that. Cause we have a couple of those near us, not outlets, but there is a big outlet mall within a reasonable amount of driving distance. So people, you know, do go down there to shop. So this cardigan is beautiful. It's a long black cardigan. It's in practically new condition has these beautiful button details on the sleeve with some contrasting pink trim. And there's also contrasting pink trim on the inner part of this cardigan. It also has a beautiful gathering in the back to give it a very feminine cut. And that's the other thing I should say. This was so many beautiful, really feminine, girly items. I love that femininity and fashion is really coming back into Vogue because that's what I like. I like any feminine details, ruffles or flutter sleeves or pinks or uh, flowy uh, fabrics. Uh, just any any extra girly details to me are going to make something look amazing. So this next cardigan is similar, but it's from the brand Cyrus. And these, I love that they're like long, like dress length. This is just a nice taupe. So it'll go with like basically everything has these nice pockets and some more gold tone decorative buttons. So just a nice long cardigan for the fall, for now, if it's cold, but so excited about that. I also picked up, this is Marled Reunited Clothing. I don't know who sells that. I feel like some department store sells that. 
But this is just a fun sweater for the winter. It's got stars. It's got stars on the elbows. It continues on to the back. I just think it's fun. I like getting new sweaters because I feel like sweaters wear out relatively quickly. And a lot of the times in the winter, I find the same boring sweaters. So it's fun to get something with a little bit of pattern to it. And last sweater is a cute little just throw on sweater from Cozy Casual. And it's it does not look super amazing when I'm just going to show it to you. It has a slight bat wing sleeve, but on it is very flattering. And I love this color because it's so neutral to go with all of my funky, fun printed dresses. Another reason I'm happy feminine fashion is coming back is color. I love color. I like to wear color, even though, you know, right now I'm wearing peach and off white. But I love to wear a lot of colors, so I like to have neutral cardigans because I'm more likely to wear a printed dress or a printed skirt. So it's good to have neutral cardigans for that reason. And next, I guess we'll move on to the skirt pile next. I have these piled up by type right here beside me. So I only got some sweaters, a ton of dresses, lots of skirts, and lots of blouses. So when we asked them, they said they had only told the congregation like a week before the congregation associated with the school that they um, were going to do this yard sale. So it's mostly, it was mostly all clothes that were like of the spring summer season, because I'm sure people within a week were not going to pull out winter and fall clothes other than, you know, that one sweater that I found. But that's why I'm hoping maybe they'll do another one in the winter if this one was successful. So this skirt is um, a, an old tag, old navy. So this might even be vintage at this point um, because old navy hasn't done this type of tag in like a long time, you know, that coloring. But it, this is, if this is not the most cottage core, feminine, beautiful skirt, it is this lovely periwinkle blue color with those beautiful white um, flowers. Nice, pretty deep pockets here, a tie waist and an elasticized back. It's beautiful, it's modest, it's fully lined. You know how in a couple of videos ago I was complaining about how sometimes the lining is not long enough. So that is fully lined and I mean, perfect for summer. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I was just so, so excited about all these beautiful skirts. I have a bit of a skirt collection at this point. I'm going to have to thin it out a little bit probably. This one's just faded glory, but I was a sucker for this beautiful white skirt with these ties and this beautiful bottom with this eyelet lace. Once again, feminine details. This is a beautiful feminine detail. I like that it's elastic. It's going to be comfortable. And it actually feels honestly pretty good quality for just being faded glory. Even though it's just rayon, it's actually pretty soft. I think it's pretty nice. I don't remember who used to sell faded glory. I think it was Walmart, like an older brand of Walmart, but I'm not don't quote me on that because I don't remember, but this next skirt, I think is just like a boutique brand skirt. It's mine to magic, like the number two magic. Um, that's why I love shopping in boutiques, like to look around and see like what labels that boutiques are selling and how much they sell for, because you know, some of those are pretty, I mean, if you've been in a boutique recently, most of their clothes can be pretty expensive. So this is a beautiful, I think, I don't know if this is maxi or midi length, but you, it probably would be a maxi if you're 5'2", but it's probably more like midi on me. This beautiful lace white skirt. It's in practically perfect condition. It is so comfortable. The waistband is nice and stretchy, very comfortable. And I mean, just look at that. It's amazing. And just to wear this with like a brightly colored top or even like lavender or something of that nature, it's just beautiful. It's feminine, it's delicate, and honestly, the fact that the lace is this good means it's probably pretty um, durable lace. You hate ripping lace like right when you get something. This skirt's gonna be more of a fall skirt, but it's Vince Camuto, which is so funny because I have a Vince Camuto skirt, like same cut as this, except mine is in a um, spring summer colors. It's like white with like purpley yellow flowers on it. And this one is just the opposite colorway basically with a black band and black with yellow and light purple florals on it. But it's the same, they're the same cut as in like micro pleats and things. So when I saw this, I thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. Cause I was like, I have that same skirt. I already know like that it's going to fit. I have the same skirt. Exactly. It's an extra small. Both of them are extra smalls. 
So yeah, it's a beautiful length. It flows very nicely. And I think micro pleats are kind of trendy right now. I think they've been trendy for a while, but to me, pleats are always classic, you know, and I'm not really one to hop on trends. I, I heard somebody else say this recently that they said, look at trends and think of how they incorporate to your own personal style anyways, and then hop on it if it's something that already matches what you're wearing, such as like, I love a flutter sleeve. So if flutter sleeves are really in, then yeah, of course I'm going to be wanting to get more of those flutter sleeves when I see them. But granted, I'm also a thrifter. I think they meant that more of like if you're somebody who buys clothes full price, but I'm just not, I'm not very easily tempted to do that because I find so many beautiful clothes this way. So, but I am happy. Like for instance, a trend I really like right now is the exercise dress. I've been wearing exercise dresses for years with the built-in um, shelf bra. I don't, I don't have any pairs that have the built-in shorts. I do not think I would like that very much. Um, I've seen some at Marshalls, I think, um, that have the dress with the built-in shelf bra and then like the shorts you can wear with it or without it. I don't think I would wear them probably with it, but that's just me. But I do love that trend. And when, hey, when it starts hitting yard sales for people who tried the trend and actually don't really care for it that much, then they'll come to the secondhand market and then I'll get to buy them. And the other reason I don't like it with the built-in shorts is because then it becomes like a jumpsuit or a romper and you have to take the entire thing off. So at least if they're separate, it's easy to use the restroom, but I would not care for it if they were built-in because then I'd have to take everything off. And that's why I don't wear jumpsuits or rompers. So next, this looks black, but if you hold it up against this, you can tell that this is navy, but this is the cutest little izod golf squirt i've ever seen and also i do not golf i just wear these i like i like to hike in a squirt um i just like wearing squirts i like to feel feminine y'all i like to wear dresses i like to wear skirts if i'm wearing shorts it's because they're like really floral or something like that but anyways this skirt is so cute it doesn't look as cute as it does on but it's nice and high-waisted and it just is very flouncy and flowy so very cute. On the same topic of skorts, this is an Adidas um, skort, which is super cute. It is black and just goes straight down. It has built-in shorts. See, so I don't mind built-in shorts with, you know, with a skort because you can take it off. So this is super cute and very good length, nice length on that. And the last skirt is a Talbot's. It's actually a petite, but I mean, it comes to my knee. So, I mean, when you see it, you'll be like, that's a petite. It's pretty long, but I love this just knit pull-on skirt with these beautiful navy and light purple medallions. Big fan of purple and the green, of course, too. So this honestly feels brand new. I don't think the person who bought that ever wore it. And now for the tops. The tops are what made me think a lot of this is from the same girl because a lot of the tops, even though they're different brands, are very similar cuts to one another. So that's why I kind of think, okay, this might be all one girl's closet. And if it is, wow, this was a lot of really good stuff. I did find a couple of Lucky Brand tops. Here's the first one. And I'm not usually a big Lucky Brand fan. I'm not very bohemian with my look, but I like when the bohemian meets a little bit more feminine, which I'm trying to make sure you can kind of see these details. So it has a nice kind of like larger relaxed sleeve. It's not fitted with this beautiful white eyelet detailing. And then the bodice on the front has these beautiful little embroidered details. Oh, you can see a hair on there from me. Sorry. <laughs> and it is just so lovely. I like the smocked top detailing. Just Beautiful. That's another trend I'm loving is I love those smock top dresses. I have one from a thrift store that I shared, I think this winter sometime, but I love those like the Ivy City Co. and Jessica type brand dresses. Those are lovely, but they're very expensive. This is another lucky brand top, but just a beautiful blue and white floral with a V neckline, another beautiful fluttery sleeve. This is a little cropped, but not terribly cropped. Oh, it has a tulip sleeve. That's what I love even more. I love tulip sleeves and flutter sleeves. So this one's a little cropped, but with a skirt, you know, the high-waisted skirt, you won't even notice, to be honest. 
because I tried it that way. Because there was a few of these that were like a little bit shorter than if I wore like a regular pair of shorts with them, but they're fine with a skirt. This is another loft outlet top with a square neckline. Another tulip sleeve detail, that light minty color with the coral, just kind of a brush stroke pattern. And so, so pretty, just very, very cute. I love this gap top. This is a flutter sleeve, this white. I love a slightly elevated basic t-shirt because I ain't anybody, I mean, I have plain white t-shirts, but this is just more fun because you've got a little bit of a flutter sleeve, the interesting gathering detail right here, just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, fun. This is the first thing from um, my first Chico's tank top I've ever gotten. This is the Chico's Travelers size zero tank, which, you know, Chico, Chico's has the weird sizing, but it's just solid black. It's very pretty. I think it would look really elegant with like a high-waisted skirt and, you know, like for going out in the evening or in the winter, maybe. I just love it. It's so pretty. Of course, I'd wear a car tank, a cardigan over top. Like I have a beautiful black um, cardigan with little tiny pearls on it. And like this would look really cute with it. And then with like a little skirt to match be really cute. The last top is this beautiful old navy coral um, embroidered top. So it's got a beautiful scallop detail on the end, beautiful embroidered flowers at the top, embroidered orange flowers along the sleeve, and a keyhole back. So you can see she had a lot of the same style I do when it comes to details on tops. Embroidery, lace, eyelet detail, color, pattern, um, not too much black. I don't think that Chico's Travelers was probably from the same person, but a lot of the styles were very similar to mine. I love feminine details and I feel like this haul sums it up. Scallops, I mean, all of that cotton t-shirts with lace and all of that, so. Now it's the dresses and this is a lot of dresses. I'll hold up the pile, all dresses legitimately all dresses. So let's get started. First is a Mac Studio one, which I really like Mac Studio for a lot of things, not their tops. I like their skirts and I like their dresses, but their tops are usually like tunic style and I'm not a big tunic style person. I don't really like that style on myself because I have wider hips. So a tunic usually hits me at like my widest point. So it does not look flattering. So that is just not a good look for me. But this dress is lovely that I feel like it's a just such a Moroccan tile pattern all throughout and even better it has a built-in shelf bra because this is kind of a weird thing to figure out how to wear a bra with but it has the built-in shelf bra and I think this is going to be great for hot days that's why I love the exercise dress because then you can just have the shelf bra and not have to worry about you know sweating through an actual bra this next dress I'm normally not a big fan of black as you know, but I like black if it's an elegant black, you know what I mean? Like it's a dressed up, like a breakfast at Tiffany's black, like very formal and very fancy. So this was very formal and fancy. This is a Talbot's dress. And this, honestly, it's gorgeous on camera. I know it kind of washes out on the screen because it's hard to show black, but it's even better looking on in person. It has a beautiful, like, I don't know if you call this, it's a ruffled hem. I feel like this might be trumpet I'm trying to hold it up so you can actually see it you see how it does that little it's like a faux wrap so it's so elegant I think if you wore it with pearls it would just be the most magical looking thing ever maybe I'll back up to show these a little bit there you go you can see that a little bit better so and there's the bottom it's just stunning I think for a formal it's nice to have formal wear in your closet just in case because you never know when you're going to have a formal occasion that you need something and then you'll be upset that you don't have anything to wear. Next is a London Times dress. I don't think I've ever had a London Times dress, but I have admired them from afar. I've always thought they were very pretty. And this dress is fabulous. First off, look at that pattern. Those beautiful florals in a navy blue. The top is, it's a faux wrap, and but it comes up very high on the neckline. And it's just fabulous y'all. I mean, it is just a lovely, lovely dress. And I think it's perfect. It's, 
it's casual enough that you could wear it running errands and still feel nice, but it's also fancy enough that you could dress it up for like a bridal shower or something like that. Next is a little Lucky Brand dress that'll be good come fall time. I think there's a little piece of something on here. There we go. And it's beautiful. It has these long like um, sleeves that come just below the elbow and it has a tie at the waist. A very nice, long, comfortable midi length. Like not so long that you get tripped up on, but just long enough to be just so modest, so beautiful. I love the fabric. It's not too thick to make you sweaty, but just lovely. Like I said, I'm not usually a big Lucky Brand fan, but I do love some of the pieces that this person curated. The next dress is Robbie B, which I do not know that brand. I don't know who Robbie B is. Um, I'm assuming it's like Belk or something, probably, or maybe Marshall's. But it is very cute on. I love this pattern, the blue with the like kind of grayish white florals. And it has a tie at the waist so it gathers on the side. And once again, a beautiful modest length. I choked with my mom. I felt like this is like one lady, all of her formal wear slash church event dresses, sort of. Because they're all really like longer lengths, even if they are um, sleeveless. Um, next is a Tommy Hilfiger dress, which I know that they've sold this at Dillard's before because I remember seeing it at Dillard's a few years ago, but it's a white lace floral dress, sleeveless, so pretty, just a slight A-line. I can't do like a straight up and down like sheath style dress, um, once again, because my hips are wider and it just doesn't work for me. So it's nice that this has like a little bit more room in the hips, but just look at that. It's lovely and it's of course lined because they've got you know these little tiny dots here i also picked up two christmas dresses so where i live we've sometimes had really cold christmases like this past christmas was freezing we had rolling blackouts here in east tennessee well actually i think all of tennessee had rolling blackouts like the entire state um it was a nightmare and then we've had some winters where i could have worn shorts so it's good to have, you can't just buy one Christmas dress and think, oh, it's going to be cold. In fact, I love Christmas t-shirts, like Christmas graphic tees. I can only hardly wear the short sleeves. So if whenever I've picked one up, I try to only pick up short sleeve because you, you don't wear long sleeves much. You'll get just like, either it's like so cold that you're like wearing like the thickest sweater you own, or it's really hot and you're wearing short sleeves. So this is the first dress for if it's a cold um, winter. It's J. Howard. It's a vintage sweater dress. Now I love sweater dresses, but most of them are straight up and down like this. And that is not modest for me. Um, it's modest for some people, but I think modesty part of it is knowing like what your body type is and what your body shape is. And for me having a wider hip measurement, that does not work for me. So I love that this was a fit and flare. I love the um, pleated detail on the bottom. I like that the top is kind of like a diamond knit weave and it's beautiful. It's not full length so you can still wear a nice bracelet that you can you know have show off. So I think it's beautiful and it's in perfect condition. I mean for being vintage it's in very very good shape. And then I'll show you my hot Christmas dress. This one is White House Black Market and it is a beautiful red very shimmery pattern. I mean, look at that with the florals. It also has a slightly asymmetrical. I mean, I think the hem's all the same, but at the bottom, there's kind of like an asymmetrical part right here, but just a very like flowy bottom. Very pretty. Nice to twirl in if you have like a Christmas dance or something, but absolutely lovely. Now back to a couple more summery dresses, but I liked that I had, I said last year, I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to get some new Christmas dresses because I just um, don't have any. I have a hard time finding winter formal wear, and I joke that I have way more like formal events in the winter than I do in the summer, so very happy to get two new ones. This dress is Alexa B. Nights, so I don't know who sells that, but this dress was lovely. Let me put in those. I hate these things. I don't know why, well, I know why brands put this in there because it's supposed to help it stay on the hanger, 
Y'all, I think with the invention of velvet hangers, we don't need those. And also, how is this gonna slip off a hanger? This neckline is so small. But either way, that's just my gripe. But this is a beautiful red floral sparkly dress. Look at this shimmer in this pattern. I don't know if you can really see it on screen. There's also a little bit of a jewel detail here at the neckline with that keyhole neck. And the skirt is beautiful. It's tiered, has all these beautiful ruffly layers, and it has a tie waistline here in the middle. Oh, it's so pretty, very twirly. Love a good skirt that can twirl. Next, I picked up a, another Mac Studio dress, which I will have to wear with a tank top underneath, but that's fine. But this beautiful blue and white and black trimmed geometric type pattern has a little side tie, but it is a faux wrap. And another just gorgeous everyday style dress. And this dress is last, but um, it's gonna be hard to show you because it's a true wrap. So first you can just see that beautiful blue pattern with the white and pink florals. And just imagine this wrapped, <laughs> cause I don't wanna have to tie it back. But just imagine this wrapped it is a beautiful midi length and it is a true wrap, which is why it's completely unwrapped at the moment, but it's lovely and makes me feel like a princess. It's gorgeous. And you may be thinking if you've watched more of my videos, I don't think I've talked about it recently, but I am a full-time homemaker. I do not work outside of the home. So if you're like, what does she need all these fancy dresses for? I think it's important as homemakers or if you're a stay at home mom to continue to dress for yourself because, well, first off you're dressing, if you're a stay at home mom, you're dressing and showing your children what that you like value that you value yourself that you value your appearance you value putting in an effort to make yourself beautiful and i think our husbands appreciate us being a little bit more dressed up i mean your husband's probably if they love you is always going to say oh i don't mind if you're casual or you're dressy but it is like i'm not saying you have to be dressy i'm just saying to put yourself together a little bit whether that's fixing your hair or putting on a pretty dress or putting on a little bit of makeup whatever that is for you. Most of the time when I'm filming these, I don't wear any makeup. So I'm not one to say put on some makeup, but I think it's important even just for our own intrinsic self to dress well. I feel like I get sad if I'm, you know, like if I'm sick or something and I've not been wearing any of my pretty clothes, I've just been in like sick people clothes. I start to feel bad about myself. So dress the body that you have and, you know, make your own self feel beautiful, whatever style of clothing that is we're all different as you see i like i like color i like feminine details i like longer hemlines and i love a, uh, an outfit i can feel comfortable in but also just look beautiful so that is my haul for today you guys and if you enjoyed this thrift haul uh, well i say thrift haul secondhand yard sale haul be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know, have you guys gotten any big clothing hauls this summer? Um, this is the biggest haul I've gotten in a long time of clothes for myself. So it's, I, if I haven't found a style match, closet match at a yard sale in a very long time. So um, I will be hopefully going to some more yard sales this summer. So we'll see if we find any other good treasures while we're out and about. I will see you guys next time. Bye.